WTWO Sports with Sports Director Grant Pugh. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. The threat of rain shifted around Indiana State Series with Valpo and college baseball. Trees will now play a doubleheader tomorrow at Bob Warren Field. Starts at 1. ISU looking to start off on the right foot tonight. Let's take you there. What a game from Clay Duncan. He homered in the first inning. Now he's up with two men on in the second. And if you watch to the right of the light pole, that's where this one ends up. The wall is listed at 396 feet, so it went way over that. It's his second time this season. He has homered twice in the game. He also did it against IU Sycamores. But Duncan going three for four, four RBIs. Sycamores are just pouring it on against Valpo. Then catcher Max Wright gets in on the fun for ISU. This pop up in a tough spot. The shortstop out to shallow left. He can't make the catch. Robbie Enriquez comes around to score. That's another hit. It is seven to one in favor of Indiana State. CJ Huntley also had a good game. The line drive here brings in Jared Watkins. Huntley had three RBIs. Watkins has plenty of time to hustle home. ISU puts up 13. How about a 13 spot? Then Tristan Polly, great on the mound, going seven innings. Game was shortened due to the run rule. He strikes out eight. Just a dominant performance from the ISU's ace. Here is Clay and Coach after a big ISU 13 to two win. No hits, no errors. Uh, I'd say I just gotten plus counts and was just seeing the ball well tonight and got some pitches up in the zone that I could elevate. We had pretty much every everyone returning this year and just building off that with the new guys coming in has been an easy transition this year. The thing that I was really pleased with was how patient we were early in the game. You know, Tiemann's a really good arm. He's, he's had a good career in our league. Uh, we laid off a lot of pitches that were running just out of the zone and got pitches to hit. And I, I felt that was the key early on in the game.